Dr Amanda Boris. I'm a lecturer in forensic science at Liverpool John Moores University. Today we're going to be looking at how to undertake a colour test. Forensic chemists use um, colour tests as a simple and basic technique to screen out a number of different drugs when they are targeting an unknown drug. Um, so it helps us to narrow down the number of drugs that the unknown drug could be. The first drug I'm going to look at today will be amphetamine. Here is a, well it's part of a street sample of amphetamine. So what we need to do is we need to obtain a very small sample from this little vial. Um, using our spatula here. And we place that into the blank well of a spot plate. Okay. We're then going to be adding the Marquis reagent test. So we add a few drops of the reagent. And get a nice orange colour. The next step is to undertake a negative control, which is where you place a small amount of your reagent into a blank well plate spot. And as you can see, it's remained the same colour. It's colourless to begin with, and it's still colourless. Now I'm going to use amphetamine standard as a positive control. This sh should turn the same colour as our um, amphetamine street drug. So we then add the Marquis reagent and that should turn nice orange. So what these results indicate is that we have um, amphetamine in our um, street drug because we've got the same colour with the Marquis reagent for both the unknown and the positive control and the negative control which was just the reagent in the um, wells of the plate has not changed any colour. So this is an indicative test. It doesn't positively conclusively identify amphetamine, it just tentatively identifies amphetamine. So this was our test for amphetamine. Now I'm going to move on to test our street drug which we think is heroin. So again we take a few mix of our sample, pop that into the well plate, then we're going to be using the Marquis reagent. Marquee reagent. Put the of the reagent. It's a nice purple colour indicates to us that there is heroin present. So the next step would be to add our marquee reagent into the well of the spot plate to produce our negative control. As you can see, it's negative because we've got a colourless solution. It's not changed colour at all. So now I'm going to put the heroin standard into the well of a spot plate. And as you can see, both of our standards and unknown have gone purple, so this indicates to us that this is heroin in our unknown sample.